Hello and welcome back, I'm Sean. Keeping the same formula for all of their earbuds with marginal improvements here and there, today we take a look at Soundpeat's latest ANC high res earbuds to see if it's any good. So this earphones today was sent over to me by Soundpeats for a review and this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So let's jump right into what I like and the great thing about these earbuds is definitely the specs that you get with these earbuds. And you're going to get a Bluetooth 5.3 chipset here that gives you support for LDAC, AAC and SBC codec, meaning these are high res certified and they definitely sound good. So the earbuds also comes with an IPX4 water resistant rating that I really like so I can use it in the gym while sweating with it or when it starts to drizzle out when I'm running. So the architecture of these earbuds is also designed really well and improving from the original Capsule 3 Pro, these earbuds now come with a 12mm dynamic driver as well as a Corvo top firing MEMS micro speaker. Uh, so it gives you the best of both bass and exceptional highs. So in this case, the MEMS micro speaker focuses and emphasizes more on the mids and the highs where the dynamic driver can more focus on the lower end. So you really do hear that stark difference when using these earbuds. Another thing that I like is that these earbuds come supported with ANC and they are very good ANC and we'll talk a little bit about that later on. And it comes with high res LDAC support as well as multi-point connectivity which makes it really value for money for something that covers all aspects of the audio experience. And I also love the fact that Soundpeat's packaging is now very upmarket so you can see this box is designed really really well compared to how it used to look like and you can take a look at the manual that comes with it now so it comes with some stickers that you can use and also a very high quality very hard uh, you know, very well printed uh, user manual that looks somewhat like the sound core design as well. So I really like this. And with these earbuds, you also get access to Soundpeat's latest earbuds app, which is called Speeds Audio. Uh, so you no longer use the old Soundpeat's app and you also get a nice two device multipoint connectivity on this earbud. So there's really a lot that I love about this earbuds, but they are not perfect. So here are some stuff that I don't quite like. So one thing I think could be better is definitely the battery life. And with everything turned off, no ANC, no LDAC running, you're getting around six and a half hours of battery life and 36 and a half hours with the case. So with ANC on, you're going to see about 5 hours per charge on the earbuds and if you add on LDAC on top of that, you're really looking at 3 to 3.5 three hours of use depending on the volume that you play. So there is also no rated quick charging on this earbud, so it takes the standard 1.5 hours to charge the earbuds and 2 hours for a case. And there is also no in-ear detection found on this earbuds and I really hope that at least at this price point, you would have in-ear detection. And it's really not too expensive to include in earbuds nowadays. So the earbuds for something that is positioned to be good, it doesn't come with the best call quality and it doesn't sound as polished as I hope. And also there's something that I don't like about the sound quality and we're going to talk a little bit about that later on. So now with all of those in mind, this earbuds comes in at a retail price of 90 US dollars, but you can get it now at a price of 63 US dollars or about 280 Malaysia Ringgit. And if you find value in what you hear and like what you see so far, I hope you could support the channel by subscribing and liking this video uh, and ring the notification bell so YouTube algorithm can pick it up and if you want to buy these earbuds do check out the links below. So how does this earbud sound? I would say good with a caveat. The main thing I don't quite fancy is how sharp the highs get with some songs and particularly movies and videos. So this earbuds is still a really nice sounding earbud and the bass performance you get here is absolutely top notch and you get all the sub bass rendering with this earbuds and they sound deep and rumbly. So mid here is also very good, giving you forward clarity of the mid frequencies and vocals sound great without feeling low resolution or jumbling up. So highs on this earbud sounds really good, giving you a clear crisp signature. 80% of the time gives you good separation and everything like that. But that 20% is where it gets super sharp and kind of annoying sometimes, which I don't particularly fancy. So overall, I think the pros still outweigh the cons on this earbud. So and I think it's a pretty nice sounding earbud. So this is a test to see if the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro Plus is a good earbud so make a phone call. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulator background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulator background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect with this earbud. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
So the earbuds is designed uh, very nicely here and you get that rubbery plastic finish with these earbuds and my experience from long term usage of this, you get patches of shiny spots develop over time. So at the front here, you're going to get the Hear Your Imagination font over there. And behind the hinge is also the Soundpiece branding as well as a Type-C charging port at the bottom of the charging case and all uh, rim with that gold uh, bronze design which is really nice. So the lid opens up nice and firm and it stays open for you to access your earbuds inside. And speaking of the earbuds, you get the typical styling of Soundpeats earbuds. So it's very nice and fancy at the side here. At the stem here, you're going to get a gold plate running through all the way from top to bottom. As well as the offset Soundpeats branding there that looks really nice. And at the front here, this is where you get the uh, AirPods Pro style ear tips and no in-ear sensor. So what I really like is also that gold ear tips or ear guides that you get with these earbuds and it really makes the whole earbuds feel very upmarket. So comfortable volume with this earbud starts at around 50% and moving upwards of 80% volume feels really loud and you still have a little bit more buffer to make this earbud sounds really loud. So we've been seeing this old Soundpeats app for a long time now and this new Peats Audio app is beautiful and very well designed with a nice font at the homepage here showing the model of the earbuds at the top and you also get the left and right battery level which a percentage would be better in my opinion and you also get the ANC controls at the home page as well as key features all laid out nicely including disabling your touch controls multi-point support gaming mode and controls customization which is really comprehensive as well so under the second tab you get to perform the adaptive EQ test and also to choose from the nine presets from Soundpeats uh, and under customize you also get a 10 band EQ to play around with at the top, Soundpiece makes it really easy with the other settings, including firmware update. And that's pretty much all you get with this app. So the performance of the ANC here is seriously top-notch and there are a few parameters you need to know when using these earbuds for ANC. So first, you really need to get a fitting ear tips because without that, then ANC doesn't make sense. And secondly, when do you take out these earbuds for ANC is also equally important. So I've noticed from my test, if you remove the earbuds from the case in a quiet environment and suddenly turn on the simulated background noise that I always use, I noticed that the effectiveness is about 80%, so you can still hear stuff coming through because I feel that the sampling of environment noise doesn't happen so frequently. So what you need to do is actually go into the app, toggle it to transparency mode or ANC off, and then go back to ANC on, then you're gonna get that maximum effectiveness. But if you're already in a noisy environment and you just pull it out and put it into your ears, then it's gonna work perfectly all the time. So with the low humming noise cancellation test, such as airplane cabin noise or the road noise test, blasting the environment noise uh, on my speaker, really blasting it, and I'm really getting around 90% effectiveness and if I turn on some soft music I literally cannot hear the external noises and I can only feel the bass hums coming from the woofers and nothing else and in a noisy cafe test these are equally impressive and I would say it cancel about 80% of the noises and chatters without music and with music turned on again you are transported to that serene quiet land very effective so the transparency mode on these earbuds is very normal without any amplification of the surroundings but it just feels like you're not wearing earbuds with that, I'm giving these earbuds an ANC performance of 9.1 out of 10. So the claim 70 milliseconds gaming mode here is very solid and in real time, I generally don't see any noticeable delay, especially gaming with PUBG or even watching movies or videos. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So overall, an earbud that meets most of the requirements that most people are looking for in an earbuds of this caliber, great ANC, uh, pretty good sound, uh, decent call quality. But if I'm honest, I wish the highs were not so sharp most of the time. So if you want to check out my round out of some of Soundpeace latest earbuds, do check out my roundup video for their headphones in this next video and I'll see you over at that video.